Hey everybody, it's Bandor Tyrell. I'm going to show you how to use this new bed that I've created and the PBR materials that are applied to it, how to easily, very, very, very easily texture this thing using just any seamless texture. It's almost as easy as dragging and dropping them on. So the bed is set up. When you get it, it comes with blank PBR materials already applied to it that I created and that I put on it that have the ambient occlusion baked in them. So you can see there's shadows under the pillows here. There's shadows around the pillows on the headboard. There's shading in here. This is all from the ambient occlusion and those are built into the PBR materials that come with this product. I, I provide them with it in a box, but they're also already applied. So you have to have a PBR capable viewer to see them. Otherwise you see the default blend fong textures, which I also provide, but here's the cool thing. So let's say I want to put a, a seamless texture on this comforter. And let's say I go to my inventory and I look and I say, Hmm, I want to put this, this one right here. I have this on my inventory so I can see it. It's called black, red, white plaid nine. Okay, black, red, white, plaid nine. I have that in my inventory in Second Life. So just go to my inventory. Find that. It's called black, red, white, plaid. And I think it was called plaid nine is what I said. So there it is right there. I want to put this on here. Well, I can't drag it and drop it. It won't let me. Uh, and if... With Blin Fong, if I were to drag and drop that, I lose the AO. It overwrites it because the AO is embedded in the in the diffuse texture, so you don't really have an AO. But with PBR, the the AO is in the material that's provided and that's that's applied to the to the bed as it is. So now what I do is you just edit the bed, select face, click on the comforter, then go to the texture tab. And then make sure this says PBR material. Put that on complete material. And then there you have the edit button right here. Hit the edit. This brings up the edit panel for that material. So this is the way I provided the material to you. And I put a white base color in here. This is just a white, simple, plain white image that's in here. And so all you have to do is drop your 2D seamless texture in here. So let's do it. Boom. And there it is. And it kept the AO because the AO is into, in this, it says metallic roughness. It's also occlusion. So this is occlusion, metallic roughness, and it's all built into here. So the shading comes from here. And I didn't overwrite that. You just put your 2D texture in this. Now, let's say I want to do my pillows. And let's say I want to use like a, uh, I don't know. Let me let me see if I can find a, a texture real quick. Okay, I found one that I that I want to use. It's from Toolshed, and it's called Toolshed Tropical Vibe Canvas Fabrics. Uh, so let me see if I where's that in my inventory. It's called Toolshed Tropical Vibe Canvas Fabrics. There they are. And the one I want is called Plain Foam. It's Plain Foam. There it is right there. So click on the pillow and then drag it into here. Click on that. It's going to be a little blue. I don't really like the blue. Let's try something different. Let's do this red. It's called, well, it's called red. And it's going to be too red, but that's okay. It's not going to really look all that great. Let's go back in here and drag it in in the mattress. Okay. And then for this throw blanket, let's say I want to use something else. I got to find what I want. How about this uh, number, number 13 heavy linen fabric texture. That's another one that I have. So it's called N O pound one three heavy linen fabric. And that's it right there. So let's click on the throw and we'll drop it in here. Okay. 
Now I want to do my wood, and I have all three of these woods, so I want to put the same thing in here. So let's put one of my woods. And I have a cherry wood that I really like, so let me find it real quick. <laughs> I'm looking through here just in case you want to know. Go up and go. I have a thing called Goodwood. Goodwood. 2D. So I download all my textures that I buy on Marketplace. I download them to my computer and then I can browse them here. There's a Cherry 2048. Let's upload that. No, I, I have the source one. It's called True Goodwood 222. Copy that. Properties. Eh, I just want to copy the name. There it is. Because I have it in my inventory. There it is. All right, so click on the wood. Go up here. And we're going to drop that in here. And I don't need the spec and the norm because we don't use those anymore. Oops, did I do the wrong thing? I did the wrong thing. Drag and drop. Sure, that's there and there. Okay, all three have the same thing on it. And we're done. So now I have textured this using uh, PBR materials out of the box just by dragging and dropping the textures that I want on here. And it looks amazing. Now this is not the only way to do textures on here, but it's one way and it's a fast, quick, fast and quick way to do it. There we go. I use so many different pieces of software that have ways to navigate and I keep forgetting which one I'm in. So look at this. This is what it looks like just by dragging and dropping simple, plain, 2D, seamless textures into this pre-made PBR material. So that's how you can do that. Now, I'll have, there's other ways of doing it, but this is the, this is kind of the cheap, down and dirty, easiest way for you to texture things. And so uh, I provide you with everything that you need to be able to do that out of the box. So. That's it.